There's the very new one for Britney Spears. Uh, the new single is called Make Me featuring g Easy. It's available now. And as a special surprise for all the KISS listeners, we've rung Britney Spears. We've got her on the phone now. What's happening, honey? Hey, Britney. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Very good. So, so good. We, uh, we've we been doing a few Britney impersonations. Everyone likes to think they can do like a, oh, baby, baby. Oh. But <laughs> who, who does? That was pretty good. That was, oh, thanks. <laughs> Not quite as good as some others I've heard. Who Christina heard? Aguilera and Ariana Grande, they do really good impersonations. What an honour. That's an honour, don't you think? That is an honour. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm. How's do things you, do been? You, do you do any impersonations of anyone yourself or is it, you're just happy being you? <laughs> Uh, I, I do a great version of the Woody Woodpecker. Oh, oh yeah. please. Let's Give hear it. it. To us. Let's go. Uh, that's okay. It's really obnoxious and it hurts to do it because I have to go inside my throat and push. And it, it, it's really kind of embarrassing. So, <laughs> so you'll pass for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just did Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> and the new song, Make Me, uh, with G-E-Z, that's available now and Fantastic, which we just played. Oh, man, I love that song. Yeah. How did that all come together? Yeah. Um, well, I've been working on this project for like almost two years now, yeah. and uh, it was one of the first three or four months um, when I was working, it came along, and uh, I think uh, Burns is a, a wonderful producer, and he came and he produced the track, and um, Julia and um, Michael, uh, they wrote the song, and then they're just, they're really, really, really young, great up-and-coming writers, and um, I was cool. very fortunate to get the song. Oh. So, yeah, it's a, it's a fun song. It's one of my favorites. So. Uh, you must have the pick of the, cro- the crop when it comes to people to work with, producers, songwriters. Uh, when Britney rings up, everyone answers your call, right? Oh, that's so sweet. No, not really. What do you mean, not really? <laughs> Unfortunately, they really don't. But, um, I mean, I, I have a great a girl from the record label. Her yeah. name's Karen, and she, you know, she hooks me up with people that are really hungry. And it's fun, too, to work with new people that... You know, or you know, new artists that are coming up and writers that are just hungry for the whole thing because they're almost seems like you want to don't want to go with the whole pack of what's you know yeah. going on or with the you want the new fresh thing that's going on. So it's it's really interesting, you know, seeing the new people come in and the hungry ones that and working with them and seeing the difference. When's the album out? Because I want the whole album and I want it now. How long do I have to wait? Oh, I actually I have no idea. I I really don't know when it's supposed to come out. Oh, well, we want to hear it. Obviously, we love a good Britney album. Oh my God, mm. we all, we've loved it but forever. What are you doing? What are you doing though when you're not working? I did hear that you'd gotten into Pokemon Go. No way. Yeah, yeah. Has it taken over your life? <laughs> um, not completely. It's taken over my kids' life. They go in these phases, but when they really get into it, it's like it'll be like twenty minutes of Mom, move. There's one right there. There's a Pokemon there. And I'm like, oh my god, you're scaring me, you know. And they want to introduce me to all like the characters, and they're mad that I don't know who they are. And I'm like, you've got to teach me, you know. You've got to like ask, you know, teach me what's going on. So. Yeah, it's their new craze right oh, now. No, it's crazy. Uh, uh, now I've, I've, I'm yet to come and see the show in Vegas. Everyone raves about it. How long are you going to do that show for? How long are you locked away for? Um, I think right now for two years. Oh, so I got plenty of time. Yes. Do you still love doing that show? Are you are you glad you did it? Yeah, I'm very glad. It's, it's honestly, it's the best. Um, way of um of doing what I do it you know I get to perform and but it's there's a lot of consistency and a lot of stableness and it's just it's cool because I'm on for six weeks and I'm off for five weeks and I go back and forth from here to from Los Angeles to there there's like three shows a week and it's fun and next um the next round that we do I'm gonna have like a lot of new stuff from the album that I'm gonna put in there so it's gonna be we're going to shake it up a little. It's kind of like it's kind of like going on tour, but making the audience come to you, isn't it? How genius That's is really, that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, it's kind of cool because usually I used to do arenas, but you would think that arenas would be louder than you know, like these theaters. But the theaters, because they're so small and compact, the echo is more. It's more intensity, and it's it's it's, it's a, a louder ring with um, a smaller place. Hey, so. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's really fun. The audience is great. Oh, my God, they're great. They, they're, they're like electricity. It's great. Hey, a few years ago when uh, you and I last spoke, we we're having a laugh about the Britney Spears doll, and I said, "Did you authorize the uh, the likeness?" And you laughed, and you were like, "Well, you yeah, know, we had we had, do the ki- do your kids have those dolls? Do they play? Even though they're boys, like, yeah. Yeah, are they playing with the Britney doll? <laughs> no, no Britney dolls. No, those just Barbie dolls. <laughs> oh, no, Britney, where's the no. where's the Britney doll? Yeah, do you still do you have them tucked away oh, somewhere? Oh. Oh, no, I haven't seen one of those in a very long time. Oh, you should have kept one, though. Oh, well, I've got mine up on the keep shelf. Safe. Oh. Yeah. Hey, my son is actually, he's scared of dolls, so he doesn't, you know, anytime my niece brings dolls, he goes, my mom, get that out of the house, it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by. More to come this morning with Britney Spears here at Kiss FM. It's Britney, bitch. It's the Kyla Deccio Show this morning here at KISS. Britney Spears is on the phone with us in between uh, being a mum, doing her Vegas show, putting out new music, being Britney. And so now busy. we're going to play a little game with Britney called Who Would You Rather? So we'll give you a variety of different scenarios and you just have to choose what cele- celebrity you'd rather do that particular thing with. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, God, this Sounds go dirty anywhere. actually, doesn't Sounds it? Sounds a worry. But it's not. Here we go. <laughs> okay, who would you rather watch Sex in the City with? Sarah Jessica Parker or Chris Noth? Ooh. Yeah, Jessica Parker. Yeah, me too. Good choice. So easy. Yeah. Uh, whose shoulder would you rather have to cry on, Oprah or Ellen DeGeneres? <gasps> I don't know. That's, that's hard. That's tough. Both. 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 <laughs> what about who would you rather sit next to on a 24-hour flight to Sydney, Taylor Swift or Katy Perry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why uh, do that to her? You're evil, Jackie. She's I don't know, it's hard. Yeah, They're oh. both so cool. Do, I don't know. You want to keep do out you of know, that? Do you, you that. do you have a friendship with either, or they're both just sort of, you know, acquaintances? I, I, I briefly met Katy Perry, but that was it. <clears throat> it was like at um, the Smurf movie premiere, and I met her there really quick. But um, actually, you know, maybe because I've met Katy Perry, I would say Taylor Swift because I've never met her before. Okay, okay. locked away. Hey, who would you rather go Pokemon hunt- hunting with, Zac Efron or Justin Bieber? Mm. Ooh. Zac Efron. Okay. Yeah. Got his dream, isn't he? How good Zac. He's good fun, Zac, yeah. yeah. Um, who he would came you... across a bit gay then, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> again, <gay>. again. <laughs> um, who would you rather swap lives for a day with, Mariah Carey or Elton John? Mariah Carey. Yeah. Me too. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, what about who would you rather be on a reality show with, Kim Kardashian or Kelly Osbourne? Kim Kardashian. Mm-hmm. And whose wardrobe would you rather for a day, all beige like Kanye or crazy out there like Miley Cyrus? Which one? All beige like Kanye. Okay. All beige like Kanye. I bet you Kanye would be pissed off, Jackie, if he heard you referring to his stuff as beige. <laughs> right? I don't think he it's a, I don't think he sees himself like that, though. I'll just let you know. Hey, Brittany, the new single, Make Me, featuring G-Eazy, available now. We're loving it. We're rolling it here nonstop. Uh, I'll come and see you in Vegas ASAP. Uh, hi to the kids for us, babe. Yeah, thanks, Brittany. See you, honey. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Bye, right, now. Brittany, on the air this morning here at Kiss FM.